If a good daily skincare routine is important to you, then check out the clinically superior exfoliation of the active glycolic serum for my friends at averygram.com. And for free shipping, use the code Josh VIP. Good morning. And welcome to this edition of Monday Morning Musings, April 27th, 2020. We are week eight into the quarantine. It's very dark and stormy outside here in Seattle, here in SeaTac, just south of Seattle. April showers bring May flowers, though, so hopefully we'll see some nice sunshine in May. Maybe some things will start to open up June 1st, but not bars, not restaurants, and not entertainment. And restaurants can do to go, and some bars can do to go, but uh, it's tough to entertain the masses when the masses can't come together. And the virus is going to come back this fall, winter. So a lot of ideas running through the mind right now. Do I stay in a holding pattern until midsummer, then make some decisions, either stay on unemployment and ride it out into a very slow bartending season or find a different day job? I spent two years up more downtown at Radiator Whiskey and White Swan Public House. I love it at both those places. Uh, but got to face facts. If I'm down here and I live closer to the airport, maybe the airport should be my income for a little while. We'll see. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But every day, these thoughts are running through my mind. What am I going to do for money? Just like everybody else. And I haven't been streaming that much because I don't feel like it. I don't want to marathon these games that I haven't played yet. I want to enjoy them first. Then I'll start streaming them. But I have been making some content. Obviously, Monday morning... Musings once a week, plus we just did For the Trees, Swamp Thing Invitational. It was a dream of mine for Grey Gardens, my marijuana growing company, to sponsor a fighting game tournament, and we did it. And lots of weed was smoked that day. Uh, I was able to pay the contractor that worked on the graphics package and the players that I have their PayPal or Venmo info. I'm still waiting for them to, two of them to send that over, uh, but they've all been paid. And I was skipping meals on the weekends in order to stretch out my dollars that I had to make sure my contractor could be paid, that I could at least get something for these players. And I was uh, telling a friend of mine from Chicago what I was doing, and she surprised me with a grocery delivery, which I did not expect. And that was wonderful, lovely. I went ham on that Saturday with some food. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't eat on Sunday because uh, I ate too much on Saturday, but I definitely wanted to keep the celebration going from having, you know, accomplished this show on Friday. So I had a little bit of alcohol. The rest of the alcohol left in the house, so it wasn't that much. And I drank on an empty stomach. And wow, that was stupid because I vomited bile five times yesterday. I felt like shit. Uh, I just was mad at myself. Like, come on, man. <laughs> You, you're a bartender. You know the rules. You shouldn't be drinking anything on an empty stomach. So today I better rest and get back to the workout routine tomorrow. But I don't think it was just the alcohol. I think it was just the compound of stress and insecurity in the future. The almost uncontrollable rage I will feel when I see these morons out in the streets protesting. I even saw one lady said, my body, my choice. I was like, oh my gosh. How could you say that when you're against abortion, lady? You know, abortion is not murder. People should have kids when they're ready. Okay. So Resident Evil 2 I'm playing right now. Uh, it's fun, but I prefer Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 is my first encounter with these remakes, so there is going to be a bit of a bias. But yeah, I'm digging Resident Evil 3 more than 2 at the moment. But I plan to go through this 100% marathon as the capstone. And I've mentioned this a number of times in this podcast, the J. Gray podcast. I want to go through kind of the last iteration, the last hoorah of this generation and get 100% on Resident Evil 2, Spider-Man which I went back and played one DLC mission. I was like, oh, do I really want to go back and play this game? It was fun when it came out, but then the writing really took a nosedive. <laughs> oh, man. And they did MJ wrong. I mean, they made her a homely reporter. Like, MJ is a model. I don't know what you guys are doing over at Insomniac Games, but um, 
yeah, I really enjoyed uh, most of the game, but some of the choices just were not that great. I definitely played the sequel, and I want to you know play through it again for the gameplay and the fun quips that Spider Man has. But uh, I saw a couple comments online saying you know this game is a little bit overhyped compared to God of War. Mm, I'm starting to feel that a little bit, but I want to I want to go through Spider Man, get 100 percent there, get 100 percent on God of War. Um, which I felt was great, but lacked a bit of depth with characters. Not for the main characters. The son and the father, Kratos, were great, but the witch was very one-dimensional. Um, you didn't see any of the other gods that he would face in the future. It just seemed kind of a, a smaller roster of characters, and I would have liked to have had more. So we'll see if God of War will expand on that. But Corey Balrog really made something special. Uh, and that's definitely one of the games of the generation. So I'll go back and 100% that. Then Devil May Cry 5, which I kind of got bored of halfway through, but I should finish it. Um, but honestly, folks, if I'm just, if I feel like I don't, I'm not having fun, then I'm just going to stop and uninstall because I'm getting older. <laughs> Ori and the Will of the Wisps is on the list and then back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. And after I beat Final Fantasy VII Remake on hard mode and unlock everything, uh, there's really nothing else to play. And so I can definitely jump back into reading and writing, but I uh, just, I want to get my money's worth with these games and really distill down to the core what makes them work so well and what didn't. So I can learn and adapt as a storyteller myself. So it's kind of the goal right now. Uh, we'll see, you know, this could change tomorrow. I have no idea. <laughs> Some days I don't feel like playing anything and just hop on YouTube and I look at the clock and all of a sudden my whole day is gone. So I've just been watching podcasts and news updates, and I like to stay informed on what's going on in the world, but it keeps making me more and more upset, and I need to focus more on the local stuff, what my hometown is doing. And I've been having back and forth with the mayor, uh, Mayor Aaron Sitterly online. Um, I don't agree with her viewpoints. I haven't had any qualms with her leadership per se at the moment, but uh, yeah, I may run against her. I think I could win. We'll see. <laughs> Delusions of grandeur and hubris. Rip, Battlefield Five, um, Dice screwed up so hard with that game. They pissed everybody off. There, go woke, go broke mentality really shine through here. Uh, just don't insult your player base or create something stupid. And that's what Battlefield Five turned out to be. I had a lot of fun playing it. A lot of fun with my brother playing it when the maps were first coming out. But uh, yeah, what a nosedive! Unfortunately, Dice has taken lately. They need to break away from EA or do whatever Respawn is doing to do what they need to do. So I gave Warzone a shot, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, it's definitely fun to play with my brother, but I don't like, I still don't fancy Battle Royale games. They're too boring. I don't want to run around and find loot and then run around another five minutes just to find somebody to shoot at. And then get jumped and killed, and I have to wait in line to go back and play. It's just that's not fun to me. It's just a lot of wasted time. Fortnite's on the decline, um, as Warzone and uh, you know Apex Legends have risen to the occasion, but they'll go on the decline as well. Battle Royale is a is a trend, just like real time strategy was a trend. I much prefer the team deathmatch, but I just. <clears throat> I played a lot of Call of Duty back in the day and playing this one, it's just like, I've been here before. I've played this before. So unless I'm I'm playing with a friend or my brother, I'm really not that interested in playing on my own. I'd rather just play single player story games at the moment. Uh, still playing Mortal Kombat 11, waiting for the next combat league to come out. My katana is still pretty good until I get downloaded by the <laughs> opponent and they realize all my dial-in combos you can see coming a mile away. So trying to switch it up and, you know, get even better is a long process, but I feel it. I feel it. All right, folks. Well, I hope you have a great week this week. Um, stay informed, stay safe. And if there's any movies, any obscure movies that uh, you have found during this quarantine that you really like, mention them in the comments below. I haven't watched any of season three of Westworld yet. I haven't heard any great things. I was just in a Twitter conversation with Walter and others. Like, yeah, you know, give it a shot. 
Uh, now Harley Quinn's been coming out week by week, but I want to wait to binge that. Uh, but really nothing else on the docket for me. I may watch Waco today, though. In particular, just to see what Joseph Smith was like in the 1800s. Just look at, you know, Waco today <laughs> or Wild Wild Country or or others to see what that Mormon movement was like in the, the pioneer days. All right, stay safe, y'all. Make sure to give me a follow on the social medias, Mr. Joshua Gray. Uh, check out the VOD of For the Trees. And I will see you next week. See you online.